Hi, I'm Aaron from Thinkific, and I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to get started on the Thinkific platform, making and selling online courses. In this video, we're going to cover getting a course site for free with Thinkific, quickly creating some course content for that site, making sure that you're going to get paid for your course content, adding a few courses and importing content into it, previewing your site before you launch it, and how to brand your course site. The first step is to head over to thinkific.com. From there, you'll want to click on Get Started for Free right up here. Free sounds good, right? Then, you'll make an account with Thinkific by entering an email, a password, and a name for your course site. Don't worry, you can change the name of your course site at any time in the future, if you're that kind of person that changes their mind a lot. Then, pick one of these colors to get your course site looking right, right away. Again, this can all be changed later, and I'll show you how to do that, so don't worry about this right now either. Pop your name in here, and give us some idea of where you're at so far with online education. It's just a little survey to help us give you some tailored support if you need it later on. And that's it. You're into your Thinkific website's admin dashboard. Make sure to check out our free training course by clicking this button right here. So let's take a look at a Thinkific course right away. We set you up with a demo course immediately, so head over to My Courses here. From here, you can make a new course or go into the demo course. Click on the demo course card here, and our admin dashboard becomes the course creator. This is the curriculum view, where you can see how your course is organized. Your course can be organized into multiple chapters, which hold individual lessons. Chapters and lessons can be set to draft, which will hide this content until it's ready to be published. Let's check out lesson one here, which is a text lesson. So, you can set this content to draft as well, but you can also set it to be a part of a free trial of your course. Free trial content is a great way to get people to sign up for your course before they buy it. In text lessons, you can not only add text and format it, but you can also add any HTML-based content you want, including embedded videos. Now let's check out this audio lesson. You can see that when you upload media to your course, you can choose to make it downloadable for your students or let it autoplay. Audio lessons come with descriptions, which you can also use for transcriptions, as well as a previewing area here too. One of the most popular lesson types on Thinkific are video lessons. That's because you can just drag and drop your video into a lesson and Thinkific optimizes it for you. You can also add a quiz, which you can then optionally require to have a passing grade, and add multiple choice or single answer questions to it. There's also surveys, which can have single choice, multiple choice, rating, scale, or free text answers. Feel free to mess around in the demo course to get used to making courses. Let's make a new chapter here. Let's call it something really original here and save changes. Now our chapter needs some content. So we can add a video, quiz, text, survey, or audio lesson like we've just seen, or we can also add a multimedia lesson and add an embeddable element to it, kind of like a webinar tool or a typeform survey. We can also add a PDF lesson, a discuss discussion forum, a file that our students can download, a presentation that we can record narration over, or an advanced exam if we needed it. When we're done here, let's publish. Head over to the publish tab here, and then click on that big publish button. Now your demo course is published on your course site. You can unpublish this if you don't want people to see it on your course site. Okay, let's make our own course now. I think that we're ready to get started on that. In your Thinkific admin dashboard, just head over to my courses, and when you get there, Click on the Create New Course button here. After that, add a name for your course. Let's call this one something brilliant, which can then be changed later, by the way. And hit Create Course. Easy peasy. And that's it. We just made a course on Thinkific. But now that course needs some content. And let's say that we already have a bunch of audio or video or PDF files that we don't want to add one by one to the course. In that case, we're going to use the bulk importer right up here. But first, let's add another chapter. You can drag all of your prepared content into the bulk importer, chapter by chapter, and have it all in line in a few seconds. It's that easy. You can even rename the chapter from here, reorder your lessons, reorder your chapters, or delete lessons or chapters from here as well. Now that we have a bunch of outstanding course content in our course, we might be wondering, how is my student going to see the content? Well, at any time, you can preview the course as a student. Check this out. If we go to the preview course up here and pick as a student, we'll see the course player with our content in it exactly like a student who is paid for and enrolled in the course. The main part of the course player is where your course content will be presented. You can make it full screen too. The student interacts with your content and when done, clicks next to go to the next lesson in the chapter or the next chapter if they're done all of the lessons in the current one. The student sees they've accomplished something here and is encouraged to continue on in the course. On the sidebar here, 
These accomplishments are tracked in the Achievements and Progress section here. And if discussions are enabled in your course, students can click here to access a course-wide forum to ask a question or discuss topics related to the course. Let's start a discussion. Notice you get a full editor toolbar here so that you can format text, add images or videos, or whatever you want. I'll ask, to be or not to be, and submit the question. It shows up right here, and if I click on it, I can respond. And anytime that you're in the preview and want to get back, just click the link here to get back to the course builder. So that's how an enrolled student sees your course. But what if someone visits your Thinkific site and they aren't enrolled yet? Well, we've got you covered there too. Your course gets set up with a landing page out of the box. When you publish your first course on Thinkific, the course site URL automatically sends users to the course landing page. If you publish another course, visitors will get automatically sent to your course site landing page, which shows all of your course offerings, kind of like a catalog. Before you publish your course, you can set up your course landing page just the way that you want. Head over to preview up here again and pick landing page. Now check this out. For every section of the landing page, you can use these buttons to edit that part. Let's get started on the course landing page banner. So when we click the button on the landing page preview, it takes us right to where we need to go, which is the design tab in the course creator. I have a banner in mind here, but just make sure to pick one that isn't going to clash with your course landing page's header text and that fits the dimensions for this landing page. There are actually several other landing pages to choose from in your admin dashboard's themes section. If you want to use one of these themes rather than the default theme, you can check them out first by selecting preview. Looking good. Now, if you want to apply it, just select apply and select the course you want it applied to. Beautiful. But I want the default theme, so I'm going back to my design tab and in the top drop down menu here, I'll pick the default course landing page and I'll save changes. And then I'm actually just going to exit this tab and refresh the landing page preview to show you that new banner I uploaded. Now I can change the text here and add a demo video to this header area. So I was taken to the details tab in my course creator and can now edit the title of the course, which was that first big line of text on the header and the subtitle, which was the smaller line below it. Let's save those changes right now. And next I'm going to add a demo video, which I made that shows me introducing the course topic, but I need to add it to the course site video library first. So I'm going back to the admin dashboard and then clicking on video library here and then clicking on the upload video button. I can pick a video I have on Google Drive or Dropbox or OneDrive if I wanted, but I have a local file to upload right now. So that's done uploading and Thinkific is optimizing it for the web right now, but we'll head back to the details tab of our course here and I'll add the demo video using the menu here. Save my changes, and then close this tab to see my preview again. I refresh the page, and now we'll see the difference. There we go, looks good. Now if anyone clicks watch intro video, they'll see a short video from me introducing the course, but we don't wanna watch that right now. Let's move on to the course pricing. So if you click to edit the course price, you're going to be taken to the pricing tab of your course creator, which will look like this if you haven't set up a payment processing integration. I want this course to make me money, so let's go back to the admin dashboard and head over to our integrations. Here we're going to integrate our course site with a Stripe account by clicking this button. Normally we'd fill out this registration form to create an account for free with Stripe, or we click sign in here if we already have a Stripe account. We're going to use some movie magic to skip this because it's pretty straightforward. So our payment processor, Stripe in this case, is now integrated, and now we can set a price for the course. We can also change the currency we want to use here with this drop-down menu. Let's head back to the landing page preview and click that button again to get back to the pricing tab in our course creator, which now looks like this. Let's pick one-time price and enter our dollar amount here. Save that change and then close the tab to get back to the landing page preview. Now, when we publish this course, there will be a buy button in the bottom of the header on the landing page here, but we aren't published yet, so we won't see this in our preview right now. Depending on which landing page you're using, you might see the instructor here, the information displayed here, and in the header up here is drawn from the instructor profile. So, if you have multiple instructor profiles for your course site, you can pick which one you want displayed here by clicking this button. We only have one right now, so we're going to edit it instead. So once I get to this screen, I'll click edit next to the profile. Now I'll just change the name here, give this guy a title, and I'll just add a pre-made bio right here. I could pick an image for this instructor profile to give it that human touch as well. And then hit that save changes button, close the tab, refresh the preview, and once again, c'est magnifique.
you have a button down here to add additional pricing options to your course. So if you wanted to also offer a payment plan, for example, you'd click this button and then set that in the pricing tab of your course creator. Below that, we can click this button to be taken right to the upsell tab. So let's say that you have a few courses and that you want to cross promote. So you'd come here to the upsell tab, use this menu to pick a course to promote, and then click add. After that, we need to decide if we're going to upsell this course on the landing page that we're editing, or on the thank you page, which the student sees after they pay for the course, or both. You can edit the title of the section here. Let's say something like, frequently purchased together. Hit save changes. Again, until the course is published, the upsell won't appear on your landing page preview. But here's what it looks like normally. Awesome. Let's head back to the landing page preview. Now let's add a course description. Click here to get to the details tab of your course creator again. Now the course description can be used simply to describe your course or to add some convincing sales copy. This is your course landing page after all, and if you're using it to sell the course, make sure to customize this section. You can use the editor up here to format text, add links, add images, embed videos from YouTube, mailing list signup forms, and pretty much anything else. I'm gonna save you some time by just adding some pre-made landing page copy here. This is what it could look like. Save it. Close the tab and refresh. Wonderful. We're almost done here. Click that last button to get to the review manager in your admin dashboard. Here you can manage reviews as they come in, making them visible on your landing page or not. This is a good way to add testimonials to your landing page. You don't need to save changes here. Just make sure that the option is checked or your students won't get the chance to give you feedback and awesome testimonials that can show up on your landing page. Students will see the option to rate the course directly in the course player. If we go back to the course creator, and preview it as a student, we'll see that link up in the top of the course player's sidebar here. Okay, so the landing page looks amazing, but you might be wondering, how do I change the site colors or add my logo? Well, that can all be changed in the branding section of your admin dashboard. So we'll head over to the branding section here. So right away, we can add a logo to the course site. This logo will appear at the top of the site in the left-hand side of the navbar. Let's upload one here. You'll want a rectangular image, longer width-wise than height-wise. When that's done uploading, you can hit the Preview Site button here to see it in action. Close the Preview tab to get back to the Branding section and scroll down to add a site banner here. Just like the course landing page banner, we'll upload an image with the right dimensions here that won't clash with the header text of our site's landing page. Now this is different than your course landing page banner. If you have more than one course published, this is the banner that will be displayed above your course catalog. If you have only one course, previewing your site will show you the course landing page instead. But here's what a landing page looks like when you have two published courses. If we head back to branding, we can start customizing the color scheme of the site as well. These site colors will be found throughout your site landing page and your course landing page. These can be changed to anything in the palette here or to a specific hex code. The brand color here will change a lot of things, like your course price on course cards and other interface objects. The header background color and the header text color will change the nav bar, and the footer background color changes just that. You can also make the buttons on your site a different color. The primary button is your main CTA, your buy button, and the secondary button will be your free trial button or an additional pricing option button beside it. Here's what our site looks like now. Gorgeous. All right, so we've covered everything that you need to do to prepare your course to be published. So what's left to do, but just that. Let's head back to the course creator, then go to the publish tab and hit this big publish button. And that's it, we're live. That's how easy it is to make a course in Thinkific. And there's actually so much more you can do in Thinkific. You can create course bundles, create site-wide subscription plans or subscription plans for one course, or create coupons to discount your course for a limited time, create a free trial in your course, or even schedule your course content to release over time with the drip scheduler. You can do notification emails to your students, or issue certificates at the end of your course, and so much more. Make sure to check out our pricing page to see which features are included in each Thinkific plan. Although you can always use Thinkific for free to get started. Now down in the description, you can check out a bunch of links to some resources to help you out when you're creating your own online courses. 
You can also head over to our help center or our blog for how-tos and expert advice. If you have any questions during your online education journey, please feel free to reach out and contact us. And if you want to get started right away, head over to thinkific.com and make an account today.